So you want to record a band. Multi-track live recording is simple with Logic Pro. In this lesson, we'll go over everything you need to know to set up a multi-track recording session. We're going to record a four-piece band, drummer, bass, guitarist, and singer. To get the best recording possible, we'll use a few mics on the drums, a couple on the guitar, and a couple lines for the bass. This will give us the most separation as we record. We're going to need eight inputs, so let's make eight mono audio tracks. Go up to the track menu, click new to make new tracks, and we'll type in eight for number. We're going to make audio tracks. Format will be mono, and here's a cool trick that Logic lets you do. You can click the ascending button where it says input, and it'll order the inputs from one to eight. You'll see what I mean when we click create. Here we have eight audio tracks. Let's click on audio one and open the inspector. Notice this track has input one. If I go to audio two, it's set to input two. Audio three is input three, and so on. By clicking the ascending button, it automatically ordered our inputs for all eight tracks, one through eight. Let's close the inspector button by typing I on our keyboard. Now we want to make sure we're organized and name our tracks. That way audio regions and files recorded on them will share the track names. I like to use the first two initials of the song followed by the instrument on the track. The reason for this is that otherwise I'd have hundreds of files on my hard drive named kick, snare, or guitar, but no idea what song they belong to. This way each file written to my hard drive has an ID before the description of what it is. This song is named Cannonball, so let's name the tracks CB underscore and then the instrument that's going to be on the track. For instance, Audio 1 is going to be our kick drum microphone. So let's double click on it, type in CB underscore kick. Number 2 is going to be our snare drum. Let's type in CB underscore snare. Number 3 will be the mic on our hi-hat, CB underscore hat. Four is going to be our bass guitar, and we have two lines for our bass. One's going to be a DI, or direct insert. That means we're taking the line directly from the guitar. We'll call that one CB bass DI. The next one is the microphone on the amp itself. So let's type in CB bass underscore amp. We have two mics on our guitar amp. One is going to be a ribbon microphone, and one's a dynamic microphone. This gets us two different sounds for the same guitar. Audio 6, we'll type in CB underscore GUIT for guitar underscore ribbon for the ribbon microphone. The next one is going to be the dynamic microphone. CB underscore GUIT for guitar and DYN for dynamic. The last is our vocal microphone. Let's go CB underscore VOCAL for vocal. Now that we have all the tracks named, we're ready to roll. Let's make sure all tracks are selected and we'll record enable them. A quick way to do this is to go over to the mix window, command 2, select all the tracks by dragging a selection around all of them, and clicking the R button to record enable them. This way you can record enable them all at one time. Okay, let's close the mix window, and we're one step away. We can use the R button on our keyboard to pop right into recording. Is the band ready? I think they're ready. Here we go. No matter how small your band or recording setup is, there will be a time when you will need to set up a multi-track recording session. Now you are armed with the know-how to use Logic Pro to record any size band, from a duo to an orchestra, using multi-input recording.